So I thought I'd do a quick video uh, to show you guys what the latest thing I've been working on. Um, this is a, um, basically it's a spiral magnetic motor test, I'll call it a test bed. Um, so what I've got is <clears throat> there's 30 some uh, stator magnets and I have these I've 3D printed little holders so that I can change the angle of them. Um, and then uh, I have a rotor. Right now I have three larger drive magnets. Um, so as this spins, uh, the, the, the stator magnets are in a spiral and they start close and then spiral out. So the, the, the uh, force wants to drive it around um, to the right. Obviously there's a gate here. Um, so it has to uh, it has to get past that gate in order to um, in order to to keep going. So what I'm experimenting with is uh, doing that physically with a solenoid. Um, so uh, I have some foil tape on the sides of the rotor and some little um, contacts. And when I, um, so you can see if it's not, uh, if nothing else is affecting it, you know, it wants to run. There's a, there's a force there. There's not a lot of torque, but eventually, uh, eventually the gate, you'll see the gate is going to stop it. Um, because it's got to have something to, to kick it past that gate. Um, so... The way I set this up is with a solenoid and some little uh, spring contacts that I put against uh, this co <coughs> copper foil tape. So it's a very funky setup, but um, I have a little 12 volt power supply. The idea eventually it was to <clears throat> see if I could hook up a little generator and do this with caps or something, and I may work on that, but. It, Again, this is just too funky to to do much with. But anyway, to show you that it does work, I've got this on, and I've got the contacts up against the side. And when I spin it, it will it will keep it going. But it's just a real kind of a cumbersome setup. So anyway, um, but that's the idea, and I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go with it from here, but um, just thought I'd show you. So uh, that's it for now.